Hey everybody, Rose Thorne here. I cannot believe it. I really can't believe this. Pete did his live earlier where he talked about how severe his depression is and how dark his thought thoughts are. And you would think that Fody would take just one day away from Natter, just one stupid day to spend with her friend and she can't be bothered. She honestly just can't be bothered. She's already live. She's already live. Natter did a live earlier and now she's doing one. Neither one of them can stay off the stupid camera for at least a day. She can't take one day out of her <clears throat> busy schedule to spend with her friend. Unreal. But she's doing this live. And of course, a lot of people are upset and concerned for Pete's. And they're giving her hell, rightfully so. So I want to sit down and see what she had to say for herself. So let's go. I seriously doubt that. He did the live. He talked about how dark his thoughts were and what he's going through. You can't go from that level of depression to fine within a matter of an, a couple of hours, Booty. You just can't. Even with professional help, you just can't. You're just telling yourself he's fine so that you can have a reason to go back over to Natters. Yes. Hi, Hexy. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, um, what was I going to say? Nothing important. I'm tired. Cure his depression? No. That doesn't happen. And I can't cure his depression, guys. Okay. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen in one day. So I'm. I'm very depressed myself. Oh, geez, here we go. So everybody's talking about Pete's and what does she do? She turns the conversation to herself. Oh, he's depressed, but I'm depressed too. Shut up, booty, just shut up. And um, he assured me he's gonna be okay. And I said, I'm here for you anytime. I have my phone on. I can't, I mean, I, I don't know how to say this. I don't need people coming in here every time and shaming me for stuff. So like- Oh, here again, turning it on. I don't need people coming in here and shaming me for stuff. Turning it all on her. It's all about her, 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 her. Oh my God. Here's her roommate, this person who's been with her since high school. And he's basically saying, I'm having some really dark thoughts some really dark thoughts. I don't know how much longer I could hang on. And she turns the conversation to herself. That is a level of narcissism I can't even relate to. If you're in here to shame me for being a bad friend of Pete. You are. When actually, I'm a very good friend of Pete. No, you're not. Yes, I was a shitty friend around when Timbit died. Um, I guess shitty friend for not being there as much or for not just being so self-absorbed, I didn't see more signs that he was more like, I knew he was depressed and, you know, I didn't know it was this, this bad. Right? Well, how would you know? You're never around anymore. You're never around. You didn't even care when your grandmother died. You didn't even shed any amount of real tears for your grandma. And here's your BFF, your best friend, that's been with you since high school. He's put up with so much of your crap. He's given you so much in the way of care and he's done things for you that not even most best friends would do. And you are abandoning him in this time of need. 
and you just need to be there for a day or two days, but you can't stay away from matter. Right now, you might be in a really, really, you know, so good place, but I haven't been the best of friends, but you haven't been any friend, but let's move on. I don't need people constantly coming in here. Like this is my VIBs. I want it to be like a place where I can come and just like talk freely and not be judged every time. So basically VIBs, what she's saying is she wants you guys to spend the money. Don't tell her any kind of criticism. Don't tell her anything that relates to negativity. You're just supposed to pay your money and shut up. Just give her compliments. Tell her how great she is. Don't tell her the truth. Just let her continue to live in this filter of delusion that she's wrapped around herself. You're not supposed to give her any kind of criticism because if you do, she won't like it. For like the same things over and over. When, and I'm talking about like people who I know are in here just for drama, you know, or who really don't even actually like me. Like, I just feel like I'm just tired of people telling me how to try to tell me how to live my life and shaming me because I don't live it. Like, tell me, I can't make peace go into inpatient care. Um, no, you can't, but you know what you could do? You could be there for him just one stupid night, just spend time with him, sit up all night, talk to him if you have to, or take him over to a friend's house, you know, like make sure that he's not alone right now. Find someone that could spend some time with him and take the drive to their house with him. And that way he's not alone and he's not going to be all alone with his thoughts. Is that too much to ask, Foodie? I love Pete. No, you don't. He's my best friend. You don't know what a friend is, woman. You have no idea what it is to be a friend to somebody. Your idea of friendship is having a relationship that's strictly transactional. Of I will do for you. But once I do for you, you owe me and I have control over you. That's how you operate. But I, I can't cure his depression, guys. So for you to put this all on me and just make me feel like a piece of shit is wrong too. Okay, so. You are a piece of crap. You are a piece of crap. Because when he moved in with you, he had a job. He had money from that job. He had his cat, Timbit. Okay, and he had you to talk to. And within a short span of time, he lost his cat, Timbit. No sympathy from you. You didn't st stay with him for one night after he lost Timbit. He doesn't have a job, which is stressful enough for most people. And you just started disappearing over to Natters and you're halfway moved in. So any one of those things by themselves would make someone depressed. And he's got multiple things going on, coupled with the fact that he's got a very fragile state of mental health but you don't give a damn. I don't need that. I will block you and I won't un be unblocking certain people. I'm tired of it. So if you just, if you're just make me feel a certain negative way, I'm just going to block you. And hopefully go ahead, stupid. You block people. You're also blocking your money. You know that, right? Well, you'll be replaced with someone more positive. I don't know. Um, LD is going to be number one for blocking. Goodbye. Um, you know what, if you block people, it really wouldn't be any big loss to the VIBs. I mean, because what are they getting blocked from anymore? Your garbage content? Are they getting blocked from you raging at them and being rude to them? What exactly are they losing if you block them? Because they can still watch you. They just can't talk to you on your channel and they can always go to the reaction channel. So what exactly are you taking away? Oh, that's right. The negativity they normally have to deal with. That's not really a great loss. This is about me, KB. This is my fucking channel. Um, this is my channel. So, yes, if you don't want it to be about me, go watch someone else's channel. Go watch his piece channel. Okay? This is my channel. So, when things happen to me, you're going to... There we go. When things happen to me, it's all about her. Selfish person she is. I'm going to come on here and tell you my perspective on things. All right? So that's it. Um, calling the cops when Pete doesn't even like cops. We went for a nice ride. He didn't want to go live. So I didn't go live. Probably a bad idea. Um, 
I know this may be a foreign concept for someone like you, Fody, but when someone is depressed, they don't want to go live. Okay. Maybe you do because you need the attention, no matter what your state of mind. But people who are genuinely depressed don't want to be in front of the public. They want to be left alone. They want to be isolated. They don't want to be in front of people where they have to put on their best face. I, it's not even about begrudging helping people. I don't know where this comes off as people. You you make shit up. You 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 make me a person I'm not. You know why she's raging right now? Honestly, my opinion. You know why she's raging? Because Pete did his video today, and because he spoke up and he gave his cry for help, she's pissed off because she was probably planning another five to seven hours of garbage lives with Natter. And now that this thing has come up, she can't do that. She can't come in and get her hugs and kisses and ass pats and super chats. This has thrown a monkey wrench into her plan to make money tonight. That's why she's genuinely mad. You make me an animal hater, an animal neglector, a you fucking are. bad friend, everything. And I'm tired of it. So if you don't want to... What about what you said is actually wrong, though? What about that is actually a lie? You do neglect your animals. You are a bad friend. What, what did you just say that's wrong? Be here. You don't like me? Don't be here because I'll get rid of you. I'm tired. I'm done. Yes, rage stream. Okay, I have reason. Like, you freaking push me, and then you wonder why I rage? Like, I don't know. Like, how do you freaking buckle your shoes every day or whatever you do? Like, foodie informant can go, goodbye. Like, and I'm going to be dealing with this offline. Whatever he wants to share with you, that's fine. But pizza's personal. What we do to help him or anything, it's not going to be discussed online. Like, it's just not. Sorry. I'm not responsible for somebody else's mental health. I'm not. So for you to think that, that's ridiculous. I'm here for Pete anytime. That's not going to change. That's not going to change because I'm with Natter. That's not going to change for anything. And it's not at all. Um, so yeah, as soon as I seen his video, I rushed over and. That's because if you didn't rush over, you were going to get roasted by the public because we already know what an uncaring person you are. But if you didn't do anything, you knew that it would blow back on you even harder. That's why you did it. Not out of true care and concern for Pete, but concern for yourself and your money. Be truthful. Um. Yeah, he just wants a bit more privacy right now. So, um, well, you wanted to go live in Starbucks and drive around, and he doesn't even like Starbucks. He doesn't want to drive around. He wants to be alone and maybe talk to somebody. You can't be bothered because you want your time on camera. But anyways. And it's not like uh, he has to care. I'm burdening him so badly for caring for the cat. Like he, like what? He feeding? Like, I know he's depressed. I feel bad for him. I'm, I'm severely mentally ill myself. Oh, God. I'm not really equipped to, to help somebody out of there. You know, I'm there for him, and as he needs me, and I think. You know what, Cody? You are right. You are not equipped to help somebody who is severely mentally depressed. But what you could do is help him find someone who can help him. Maybe some psychiatric care or inpatient care, maybe help him make some phone calls or some plans to go somewhere else to spend some time. You could do that. Or if he just wants to sit and talk, just sit and talk with him all night. Maybe make him feel a little bit better to where maybe he can go get help from somebody else. You could do that. Severe depression is way over your head. You are not a medical professional. You're not a psychiatrist. You're not a counselor. You're right. It's over your head. But you can get him in touch with people that can help him. Rather than run off and do this stupid live all about you. I think, I think part of his problem is that, um, that, yeah, probably part of it, that um, maybe that I'm with matter. Or that um, 
or whatever else, you know, like, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to say this to all of you watching this video right now. I'm not in Pete's head. I don't know exactly what's going on inside of his brain, but I'm pretty sure that everything that's been happening recently, it's all just ganging up on him. Like I said, when he moved in with Booty, he had a job, he had his own money, he had his cat Timbit, he had his BFF, which in the past has left him for another man. She left him high and dry. Now here she is repeating the same pattern with Natter, and he's in the house alone with her two cats that basically she's forcing him to take care of. She just said, here, you do it. I don't want to do it anymore. So seeing her halfway move into Natter's, I'm sure he's freaking out that she might completely move out and leave him high and dry with no place to live, no income to get there. You know, he's probably very concerned that history is going to repeat itself. A lot of things. Like, you don't even need reason to be depressed if you're depressed. You know? So, I know that's the point of Eclipse, but I can't, what am I supposed to do? Like, not turn off my feelings and not live my life the way I want because it affects someone else? Do you know what I mean? Like, you're, you guys are shouting at me to, like, leave that or go home to do things that you really want me to do. Nobody's asking you to leave Natter, although that would be great for your channel. And that'd be great for you, despite what you may think. It would be great because ever since Natter came into the picture, it's been disastrous all the way around. You don't have to leave Natter if you don't want to, Foodie. And I know you don't want to. But would it put you out to take a day or two away from Natter? Would it really put you out to do that? You could take a couple of days and spend away from Natter. He's not going to, you know, nothing's bad is going to happen to him in 48 hours. You could take a break from him and help out your BFF. I mean, pizza's done so much for you. You can't take a day or two and just spend it away from Natter. You have to be there all the time. You got to be live streaming all the time. I made a video earlier talking about how you and Natter are just ridiculous with these repeated live streams tag teaming each other telling each other oh you're gonna go live oh great you go live and then i'll go live behind you and then doing it all day and night long you can take a break from that foodie you can take a break and take care of your friend okay you can do that it's just that you don't want to but i want to sleep there tonight i want to be with him tonight Who? i love him i want to be there tonight and we have a very different relationship offline. Oh, please. Let's talk about love. You love him, but he don't love you. He's already said you're not engaged. And you know what? You're not going to get engaged. You're not going to get engaged. But you have to spend every waking moment with Natter. Have to. No matter what's happening. Jeez. Twisty Misty, welcome to Very Born Music. Pretty good peace. I'm not bitching peace for Natter. There's room in my life for everybody. And if there's not, I'm not going to ditch a friendship of 20 years for somebody. But you are. You are ditching the friendship. You're halfway moved into Natters. You're hardly at the villa. You're there for like an hour and then you disappear. So you're hardly around Pete. You're hardly around your own cats. You've abandoned everything for this loser crackhead that you can't get away from, you moron. I, I don't know why you think I'm that type of person. I've been more, I'm not neglectful, I you guess. Are. I don't know how to say it, but. Well, you've not been taking care of things. So what does that make you if not neglectful? Explain that, foodie. That's becoming a bit much for him. He doesn't have to take care of the cats then. He Wait a minute, what's this super chat I'm seeing? Fly on the wall says you offered to buy pizza rope. That's effed up. What? What is this? No. I mean, they don't go to him for attention. So I can go there every single day, take care of my that's another thing that gets on my nerves. People bothering with my cats. That's my business. That's they're my cat. You know, like I'm doing nothing wrong. So um you're doing everything wrong. That's why your life is effed up and everything is in this crappy condition because you are neglectful. You're not taking care of anything. You're not even taking care of yourself. 
your health sucks, your life sucks, you're making a paycheck, but you're practically broke because you're paying for everything, you fool. And what's worse is that everybody around you pays as well. Pizza's mental health is suffering because of you. The cats are suffering because of you. Your house is destroyed because of you. You are a walking tornado. Everything that comes within five feet of you gets destroyed. It's a pattern that's been going on for a while and will probably always continue because you are not a good person. I don't know what to say. Like, you guys want me to do something I don't want to do. Well, then be done, Brooke. You say that every time you go live. Be done. Do something for yourself. They are my cats. And I take care of my cat. You don't. Just because I'm not there 24-7. You know, like, even if I have to, like, go there after my coffee bees and be there all day, go in the evening and spend all, like, I, I have to divide my time because that's what I want to do. And that's what I'm saying. Like, it's what I want to do. Look at this bathroom, by the way. Nobody I cares. Bathroom in here. I was going to go in the bush, but I fought against it. It even has toilet paper and hand sanitizer. Nobody but cares. But it doesn't have a door. I'm just like, and yes, my I feel horrible for what people are going through. And I'm you doing everything I can. I mean, no, I can't be there 24-7. You can't be there 24-7, but you can spend the night there. Just one night, foodie. Just one night. One stupid night. Just be there. Be there and talk to him. Talk to him for all... Be up until dawn talking to him. Find out what he wants. Find out what he needs. Have a serious discussion about what do you want, Pete? What do you need, Pete? Is there anything I can do for you? Have you ever said those words to anyone? What can I do for you? Is there anything you need? Or have you always had the language of, I need, I want, give me? Because that's your way of thinking. It's all about I, 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 me, 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 give, give, give. Yeah. You being generous, a good person? No, I don't think so. So if that bothers you that I'm not home 24-7, then just unsubscribe right now. Because I'm not, I'm not, me, me, me. Yeah, KB, yeah, you, you too, you get on my fucking nerves. You're just a hater. You're in here all the time being friggin' crusty. So who wants to go? Who wants to be blocked? Because if you're not happy here and I'm doing something so bad, unicorns and bacon, goodbye. Um, yes, that's what I want. It's my life. It's my fucking life. What do you want me to do? Hello. I just spent all night with Pete. Like, he, um, you guys are like, you're not getting the picture. She spent all night with Pete. Uh, she's in the car. It's nighttime. It's still nighttime. So I guess you didn't spend all night with Pete because the night isn't over. Sure. Like, <sighs> no, I don't want to spend one night away from Matter. Why? Why? He's still going to be depressed when I leave. He's still going to be depressed when I leave the next morning. Why would I, what, so why? My stuff is there. You know, maybe if you spent the night with Pete and talked to him, you're not going to completely cure his depression, but you might get him to a place where he's not having such dark thoughts. And maybe by talking to him, you could figure out what he wants, what he needs. Maybe his head could clear out a little bit. And you can both decide where to go from there. Maybe do that, Foodie. Fair to sleep there. I want to sleep with matter. We're making things work, and that's it. He doesn't. Well, according to Natter, you're not even having, you know, intercourse right now. The last time you guys had intimacy, according to him, was November 23rd. So, you're just gonna go home and sleep next to him. You just have to sleep next to him. You can't spend the night over at the villa. Just one night. It's not like you're going home and getting some booty. What's the harm of spending one night at the villa with Pete? Probably want me to say these things, but, well, it is what it is. <clears throat> He's isolated in that apartment. Yes. And, and what do you want me to do, Abby? 
What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I'm going to go there every single day and spend hours there. I don't know, know what more I can do. And you're not willing to find out. You're not taking the time to find out. Maybe if you spend all night talking to Pete, you could figure it out. He could figure it out. And then for sure, nothing would happen. But he did that video today saying some very concerning things. And we see how concerned you are right now. And I can help him. Like, yeah, I, like I can help. He's been, he, like, he has a therapist. Like, he doesn't even, he probably doesn't even want me talking about his mental illness like this. That's the thing. Like, it's his, you know what I mean? He probably just wants privacy. He probably wants. He probably wants. So she doesn't even know. She doesn't even know what he wants because she's not really talking to him. She's just assuming what he wants. In a situation like this, it's best to find out what they want, where their head is at. He doesn't want to go to the hospital. I can't force him. So why are you putting that on me? He's a suicidal. Really. He's not suicidal. He said he's not. Um. Did you watch the video? Did you watch the video? It sounded pretty concerning to me. He said, and I can't quote him directly because I can't remember exactly what he said, but he said he had some very dark thoughts and he doesn't know how much longer he can hang on. Those are very concerning words, Rudy. He assured me he would never hurt himself. So I'm not going to settle down to a scene this I'm tired of like, coming on here to interact with people and they're just like you guys just accuse me of the worst shit ever it's fucking i'm done like just i'm just gonna block you guys that's it he doesn't want to go to the hospital what do you want me to do what do you want me to do what do you want me to do the cops were there actually waiting when i dropped him off and that doesn't help his anxiety what do you, why, why did he even send cops for a wellness check? What the fuck is that? Well, he did make the video today, and I'm sure people got concerned and somebody called. I mean, what are we supposed to do, Booty? When we're on YouTube and we see a video like the one he posted, just sit around with our, on our hands and not do anything? I'm not saying I did anything, but some people, they just get concerned and they don't, you know, Better for Pete's to get annoyed than for nothing to happen and then something happened, you know? So the police did a wellness check and he got annoyed. That's better than the alternative. Like <laughs> A big, two big cop cars waiting. That's not, oh, that helps. You people, like, you make it worse when you do shit like that. You make it worse. Black Beauty, Pete's is not her child. Y'all people, people, but that's Black Beauty. Thank you, because p these people come in here. I can't do anything right, and I'm tired of it. No, I didn't call it mom, Liliana. Why oh, not? A disaster. Welcome to Very Important Users, right? Set these. People are making it worse. Yeah, Foodie's under the impression that the way to deal with things is just to ignore them and they'll go away. Just everybody should just live like foodie. Live your life through filters. And by living your life through inner and outer filters, the world is perfect, the world is fine, nothing is wrong. Even if things are wrong around you and that's the reality, just live in a world of fantasy with inner and outer filters and whatever your problems are, they'll disappear. Because that's how she deals with things. Just just ignore, 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 block, block, block. Put on all these filters inside and out and your problems would just magically go away. Yeah, KB, I do, maybe. I think some of you may have called the cops. I don't know, because people in here legitimately say, call the cops, like Brooke, for example, the other day. <laughs> Zoo the cry for help.
honestly, there's nothing his mom can do. His mother's an older woman, not well. Like, there's nothing that his mom can do, but Pete has been missing his mother terribly. And a lot of people have asked you, Pootie, to go take a drive with Pete to see his mom, and you can't be bothered because you got to go over to Natters. So even though his mother is not in a position to help him in the way that he needs help, like psychiatric or mental help, I'm sure seeing her would have made him feel a lot better. I'm sure he's missing his mom terribly, especially considering he doesn't have a job right now. He just lost Timbit, and you're hardly there. You know, just because you're not really talking to your family right now and they don't matter to you doesn't mean everybody else is the same way. In some situations, some people actually care about their families, want to talk to them. You know, I said, I have my phone on me. If you really need me, like, he didn't seem like he did, wasn't feeling well. He was very tired. He wanted to, he's been probably going to go to bed. Like, you know. What if I didn't live with him? What if I didn't live with him? Would you guys blame me for like not spending, like, I can't be there 24 seven. Like, I don't know. Yeah, but you did live with him. And now you are thrusting this responsibility of taking care of your cats on him and taking care of everything else so that you don't have to. So that does matter. Okay, Chantal Stalker, goodbye. Julia, I'm ignoring you. If you didn't want people to worry, you shouldn't. Well, And I'm going to help him get help and you're going to help him get help. Why haven't you already done it? Why haven't you already done it? You can't hook him up with some phone numbers. You can't call some people. Oh no, that's right. You had to come on live and do a live stream first. Just be there more. Yeah. For him and the cat, but I'm not going to be there 24 seven and I'm going to sleep where I want to sleep. It's still my life. I'm tired of people coming in here and just like thinking that your membership entitles you to respect for me when <laughs> you don't fucking respect me. What? Sorry. Like, you know. But you should respect your VIBs. They're paying your bills and Natters and Pete's. Your VIBs and your members and the people that watch your videos, they are the ones paying for the lifestyle that you have. You ungrateful person. They're the reason why you get to live the way that you live. So you should respect them. This is not about me and Natter, Liliana. Stop, de stop derailing from this. Actually, it is about you and Natter. It's because of Natter and your obsession with him that all of this stuff just, the ball got rolling because of that. Because your obsession with Natter. You spending time away from the villa, away from your cats and and all of that because of Natter, because you just cannot get away from him. He, he, he's got something to do with this. Okay. <laughs> Abby, I can't control. I don't like that he says those things. See, you guys are blaming me. Say I blame you for my actions. You guys are blaming me for other people's actions or for other people's problems. You're putting it on me, everything everything because i'm not sleeping there in my bed it, over there i'm a horrible person like what excuse me like i'm pretty sure i have a right to choose out who i want to be with despite the past that i have and anytime somebody brings up like patsy or people over and over on his chat which i don't even know i'm i don't know but i'm ignoring every single thing about anything i've said in the past i i don't know i might I know my live streams are still up or whatever, but just because I don't want to talk about it, 
doesn't mean I was lying about anything because I didn't lie about anything. You Everything I've ever said things. happened. And oh yeah, you bought that engagement ring, and you tried to tell everybody that you were engaged, and Natter straight up said you weren't engaged, and you just simply bought the ring for yourself. So I guess you lied about that. And then when uh, somebody in the chat asked Natter, did you uh, hit Chantal? You got this look on your face like you just got caught in a lie. So, you know, you don't lie about anything. Woman, you lie about everything. You lie so much. You're like a rug. I'm not. It's not a matter of if it did or not. Either he's lying, she's lying. It's about moving on, forgiveness. And trying to make it work and be positive and coming on here every single freaking day um just being berated for like my basic life choices is not going to fly with me so it, again if you're just here to shame me blocking and i'm not going to miss you anymore seriously i'm tired of it i'm tired of it it's ridiculous the online hate is just fucking retarded it's just fucking ridiculous oh wait what what wait 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 Let's back that up. What were, you, what were you about to say, Foodie? What was that word that almost came out of your mouth? The R word? Talking, and I'm not going to miss you anymore. Seriously. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. It's ridiculous. The online hate is just fucking retarded. It's just fucking ridiculous. Oh, she almost said it. She almost said it. She almost said the R word. She caught herself. She's so mad she almost said that word. Shame on you, foodie. Angela Lackman, peace is not your responsibility. You can only be there to talk if you need you as a depressed person, I know. He doesn't, like, he barely talked. <laughs> I know just being there, but, like. Foodie, do you have any idea what it is to be severely depressed? You talk about your depression, but here's here's something you may or may not know you may or may not care about people who are severely depressed. They are really good at hiding their pain. They are really good at not revealing their pain to people. And they will be incredibly depressed, crushingly depressed, and look you in your face and say, I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's good. I'm all right. And not be fine. And they'll do that because they are not ready to open up and let go of it. They're completely closed off. So when a person who's depressed says, I'm fine, they're probably not fine. They're just not in a place where they have an outlet to let go of it yet. So you over there saying, oh, he's fine. He's all right. Because he's telling that to you. He's telling that to you because he's not in a position and he's not around people that can help him open up and deal with it. But he's saying he's fine. Trust me, he's not fine. He's not fine. He's just telling you that so that. He doesn't have to deal with you. What if I had to move away or something? You know, like, I don't know. I'm severely mentally ill myself. Oh, my God. Like, I have. Making it all about her. I'm severely mentally ill. We're not talking about you right now, foodie. To be self-absorbed a little bit because I, I can't. I can't deal. Like, I'm barely dealing with my own fucking problems. But because you hate me. Because of things that you think or I did or because of things, things I lied about or because you don't like who I'm with, my problems are less valid and I have to, like, I'm responsible for everybody's pain and suffering in life. Like, that's just, like, you know. I'm not. Okay, beyond goodbye. Bye. Well. What a disaster. You weren't dating Pete. It's not your fault to be there for him all the time. Just move on with matter. So you have your cats with you all the time, and I think people will calm down. I really don't care what you do. Talk about me all you want outside, but when I come to bees here, I don't want any drama like that. Like, oh. if you're not okay, like, with me doing whatever, then, I mean, like, you know, like, I don't know. Oh, the R word half slipped, whatever. Freaking crucify me for it then. 
And he agreed he's not going to talk about it anymore. Because I'm not ever, ever, ever going to, ever going to say I lied about something because I didn't. So he did. But just because I think I was wrong for talking so much shit. Like I was, regardless of what happened or whatever, you know, and it's just. I guess she forgot the live stream that she did where she said plainly as day in her live stream that as far as matter hurting her, her words, she said she greatly exaggerated things. Greatly exaggerated things. So um, she exaggerated things. So she pretty much admitted that she lied about a lot of stuff. That's it. It just was, but. Mm. Let's be a welcome. Sorry, what music is really shut <sighs> Yep, Stacy says I agree. So not what kids need, but you can help by contacting a brother. I think it's fun. I have Sabrina. I don't think he would do anything. You don't uh, think. Be sure that he's not gonna do something. Um But uh can we check on peeps and be there? I check on you guys act like I go and fuck off the matters and be like, ah you do ah, screw you guys. Like I never ever go like a whole day. Like I said, I've been Oh my god. I never go a whole day. Foodie, we can we can document your life through your live stream, girls. We do. You'll do live stream after live stream at Natters for days at a time. So what do you mean you only spend a day away from the cats? What do you mean, ma'am? Toronto, go see my cat. Like, I was just there for several hours. I don't mind going there, like, every day if I need to. Maybe, like, you know, and just taking care of my shit there and then taking care of my cats there and then seeing Pete's. And I do want to, like, do things with Pete's, like, as a friend. I do miss doing things with him, too. Um, uh, anyway, I don't know what to say anymore. You know, when she does have to spend time at the villa, whenever she's there, she just looks like she just doesn't want to be there. Like she'd rather be back over at Natter's, just attached to the hip by Natter. She only goes to the villa for like the shortest amount of time, for like an hour just so everybody won't yell at her. And then she goes right back over to his house. She, she hates spending an excessive amount of time at the villa. She'd rather be at Natter's house. I, I feel like a ping pong ball, like really. He, going to Psych Emerge will make things worse for him. I've been there in crisis. They make you feel crazy. And they do fuck all for you. They're gonna give him meds. He's on meds. He doesn't need more meds. Okay, like yes, being in your room all the time, being depressed and alone, it, it doesn't help. But I mean, like, I can't physically pull him out and make him do things. I guess he'll do more things with me. Um, but yeah, like we can definitely do more things. I don't have a problem with that. Yes, she does. This whole thing with Pete posting the video and just having a human moment, she is so annoyed by that. She's so annoyed because she just has her little set schedule of, you know, be up till four in the morning, sleep until four in the afternoon, wake up, do a video with Natter. After doing the video with Natter, do a couple of live streams. After that, get stoned, get high, be up all night, lather, rinse, repeat. That's the schedule that she set for herself. And she's so angry that there's this monkey wrench that's been thrown into the picture. And now she's going to have to do something she doesn't want to do. She's going to have to spend more time with Pete, less time with Natter, just to make people happy. She's so annoyed by that. How dare anybody around her need anything from her? 
She wants to live her life in such a selfish, selfish way. But it's not. Um, you need help too, KB. You're always friggin' miserable in here. Pete's dropped everything for me? I don't think so, Alex. You don't even know the situation. You guys are like, you pulled him out of his low rent room. He hated living there. He wanted to move with me. He wanted to move with me. And affordable for him, I pay everything. You know, and I'm sure it's helping his mental health, Bodie. That when you guys were looking around for a place and he was trying to find a place that was within his budget at the time, you talked him into getting the townhouse because you wanted something nicer. Your words, you said that the places he was looking at were a dump, but they were beyond his pay grade at the time when he was employed. So you picked a place that was way above his pay grade. And now that you're not hardly there and you're halfway moved in with Natter, if you decide to fully move in with Natter, his name is on the lease. He's on the hook for damages to the apartment, which can total into the thousands because they're going to have to rip out the carpet, repaint, fix all the plumbing, decontaminate the place of all the drug smoke. He's on the hook for all of that. And he's over there with no job and no money. So he's seeing you like halfway moved in with Natter. And I'm sure that makes him real nervous because he's thinking, what is she going to do next? Is she going to leave me hanging high and dry like she did before? And he's a depressed person and he's got this stuff on his mind. I'm sure that's not helping at all. Everything. So don't even go there. What are you talking about, Jessica? Ugh, you can go too. What the fuck are you even talking about? Expect what? That I would go spend the whole day with my depressed friend? Why not? You're predictable too. I knew you guys would jump all over me for it. <laughs> How many nights did Pete sit up with you while you were crying over Natter? How many nights, Cody? How many? How many times did Pete help you when you were crying over Natter and stressed out over Natter? Quite a few, and you can't give him one night, just one? <laughs> I don't know, Sabrina. I don't know. Like, I'm not a psychiatrist. I don't know. Like, I, 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 you guys know I can't even lay out my own, go to my own therapy and lay out my own fucking life plan. And you want me to do this for somebody else? Like, I'm sorry, but like, it's too much. It's too much. It is. It's not like, oh, I just can't even deal. Like, for real. Translation, I'm a selfish person and I don't want to think of anything except myself. I can't be bothered with anybody else's problems. I just can't be bothered. It's just all about me. I'm tired of it. I don't even want to do vlogs at home anymore. Because I don't even want to go with it because like you people, it's just depressing. Like I don't even want to show my cats on video anymore. Oh, they're mangy or they're this or that. Like, you know, like <laughs> it's all about you on your channel. Go figure. I don't know what more to do. You know, he knows I'm there for him. Like, he would agree with this. No, he wouldn't. He's not suicidal. My cat's all dusty. Dusty Sam! I'm speaking my mind. Uh, Walla, go fuck yourself. Blocked. Exactly. Pete's is annoying too. Bye. I am a very good friend of Pete's, and I'm not going to let people friggin' shame me for that, sorry. 
What does it have to do with him? So anyways, I doubt like I'm dealing with this. <laughs> I'm not gonna like justify everything and talk to you, but So, and I was there for him tonight when I left him. What do you want me to do? Go and cuddle in bed with him? I'm going to spend the night with my boyfriend. I don't know what you don't get about that. He's not your boyfriend. He's your rented crackhead that you rent by the month. And if you ever ran out of money, he would run off. And you know that. Uh, I don't know what you don't get about that. Little word of advice, Booty. If he was really your boyfriend, you wouldn't have to pay him to be near you. You got a real boyfriend, you're not paying everything for them, okay? He would pay for his own way. You pay for your own way. You have to pay him to be near you. He's so not into you. Everybody can see that. He's not into you. He will never be into you. No matter how much money you spend on him, no matter how much you give him, he's just not into you he's into your money if you can go <laughs> he's very codependent and can help you for both of you just as yes Missy Moe, you can only offer support to Pete. So you have to do the legwork. He and doctor assistant. I know. If you like lay down and don't have the will to live, like I can't force you to do things. Like I don't know what to say. <laughs> we did the drive through like together. I just was there. Like I we had dinner, we had pizza. Yeah, because Starbucks and just doing a drive by with, with Christmas lights really cures depression. Good job, Booty. And we talked a lot, and he just wasn't feeling up to being live. And I, I shouldn't just be like, "Hey, want to go live?" Like, I know you're feeling like shit. And he doesn't want suggestions from people. He doesn't want all the support. It's overwhelming for him, all the attention. So whenever we come home and we see two big cop cars, and I know you think you're doing a fucking good thing, but you're not. Like, oh, Lena Lee, welcome to Grand Port Fever. Ready, really so be. She was just mad the cops were at the house and she couldn't be. Yeah, says he wig. What do you want me to do? I don't like that he, they trash each other. I don't like I don't like that that he trashed him, but what do you want me to do about it? <laughs> You've trashed him. You've trashed your best friend. How many lives did we see you trash Pete? You literally call him a ball and chain. Saying, oh, it would be so much better if he was away from me, which you weren't wrong saying that because ever since he moved in with you, his life has gone downhill. You have had a negative effect on Pete's life. A very negative effect. That's undeniable. It just seems like wherever you go, whoever you associate with, that person's life is negatively affected. Whether it's your family, your best friends, your pets, your relationships, nobody is ever happy around you. Nobody is ever made better by knowing you or associating with you. I see a pattern. Is anybody else? Because I do. Fake. Prostitute. Never said you're a friend, no love, he said today. It's okay. I don't know where, why you think he's going to tell you guys things like that publicly. Well... He can't talk to you. He's got nobody else to talk to. And I'm sure he's been bottling a lot of stuff up for a long time. So maybe he just needed to get some stuff out. You're just mad over there because I'm sure you're playing another five to seven hours worth of garbage live streams. And now that this has come up, that's just really just destroyed your day 
I'm doing garbage content again. That's why you're pissed. Yeah, like. I want you to give up your life and take care of them in the world. You are. They are wrong. Darth Cater, nobody wants to go on your stupid trolling Discord. Not wanting attention is my way to the pit. Not your boyfriend, he was just a fucking freaking dick. Amber Waves! Welcome to Report Music! Or Elf. Sorry. And if you want matter, it's your boyfriend, so be it. That's my, that's my choice. If you don't like him, you hate me because of it. I don't know what to say. I want her to call him boyfriend right in front of him. Use the word boyfriend right in front of matter. I wonder what his response would be. She only says this crap when she's not in front of him. I mean, hate, hate him then, not me. Why do you hate me? Like, <clears throat> Mr. Piddle, I went over. I offered to take him to the fucking hospital. And he doesn't want to. The cops were there. What more do you want me to do? Do you guys want... Do you want me to go buy a rope at Home Depot and lasso him to the <gasps> hospital? What? I don't know what you're asking me to do. L, why can't you spend the night to just be there? You won't be able to drive there if he needs you because you're always high. Think there's someone else you want. I can Uber. So. One night wouldn't have made a difference, Sandra. Exactly. One night's not going to make a difference, guys. You won't know until you try. If you spend an entire night over at the villa talking to Pete, it might make a difference. If you spent an entire night over there and then nothing happened, then you can say that. But if you're not willing to try, then you don't know. It's not my life. I think life would have to be how it used to be. And it's not going to be that way anymore. I don't want that life anymore. I don't know. I, I'm not saying I'm going to marry Natter or fucking give up. I'm not giving up my whole life for him. Well, that's what you're That's what you're going for. You are so obsessed with the idea of marrying Natter. That's all you could think about. And don't tell me that wasn't on your mind because women who are not obsessed with marriage go out and get their own ring. You got the ring because you wanted to pressure Natter into marrying you. I mean, what other purpose did that ring serve? It wasn't a friendship ring. It wasn't a loyalty ring. It wasn't a whatever occasion ring. You bought that because you were trying to pressure Natter into marrying you. You thought that if you put that ring on and if you talked about it in your live streams, that you could pressure him to do it. And he's not about that life. He's not about that life of being pressured into something. Get it through your head. But I want something else. Non stop, Jen, do. What can we need for you? It's for my boyfriend, just as she wants to escape from seeing the bottom of her I'm sorry for your loss on Bob Jen. For people, like, I don't know. Like, I just, I don't know what else I can do. Like, I feel people are horrible for putting his mental health on me. Like, that's just fucking stupid. Not really. Not really. You live with him. You're the roommate. You're supposed to be BFFs, right? And Pete's is a grown man. And he should be taking care of himself. But this is one of those times where you as a friend should be there. Just being there and talking to him and you're not. Where are you? You're in a car in the middle of nowhere, staring at this outside bathroom, raging on live stream. You shouldn't be where you are. You should be talking to Pete's right now. You should be taking the night off from live streaming and spending time with your friend who has been there for you countless, how many times, helped you countless times, done things for you that not even most BFFs would do. A person who takes care of your cats so you can run around with a crackhead. But no, no, no. Live streaming is much more important, isn't it, Foodie? 
Sorry. We're not going to. My soul is gone. No, I have a soul, Kathy. Quit being fucking dramatic. I'll second that. You have no soul and you have no heart. You feel for no one but you. No one matters to you but you. It's all about what you want, you need. Nobody else matters. No one else matters and nothing else matters. <laughs> from middle schoolers. I swear I thought most of these people were middle schoolers. I was surprised some of the friggin' people that call in to hate on me on outer thing. Like I they were like friggin' 60. It's weird. Who hurt you, KB? Oh, goodbye, KB. I'm tired of you and your negativity. Bye. Abby too, and the sick man. I'm not. Booty said recently that she started out with 700 BIBs and now she has 500, which the number might be lower because a lot of people's memberships are still active, even the ones that recently canceled. So here she is blocking at the speed of light. If she's not careful, she's not going to have anybody left. I'm dropping everything for him. What am I dropping? What am I dropping? Let's hear it. I want to hear it. No, I'm not unlocking people this time. Sorry. I'm so tired of it. I'm so tired of the trolls in here. I'm sorry, I am. I don't care if my channel tanks. That's fine. I'm not going to freaking do things that people want me to do just so I have viewers. So, no. I don't need PayPal donations. I. Oh, you don't? Then why did you put that in your community post? Why did you make that community post? Advertising your PayPal. Why? You were e-begging, foodie. I covered it earlier. You were e-begging. You're like trying to scratch and claw for as much money as possible because you have made people so angry. You've lost so many VIBs already, and tonight you're going to lose even more. Don't sit there and tell me that money ain't important to you. It's the only thing that matters to you besides matter. Heard. People were emailing me and said, you can. YouTube takes 30% of Super Chats. Put your PayPal, you can put a direct link. So instead of sending super chats, you can send PayPal directly. So basically what she's doing is she doesn't want people to send super chats because YouTube, whenever you send a super chat, it takes 30% right off the top of whatever the amount is. Versus if you send her money on PayPal, she gets about 99% of it. So once again, money is important to her. She's trying to find ways to get more money in her pocket whatever sycophantic beauty can go hi girl i'll turn comments off if i have to eg i don't care it's gonna be rough for what what am i doing wrong everything. name one thing i've done wrong everything name one thing you've done right Every type can live your best life but if you want give it all it's not even that. It's not like I want to just be like, you know. I was there for him when he needed me, bloomers. That's it's pizza not a relationship. You have more of a problem with it. You don't even know what's going on. Like, you guys are mad. Pizza's not even upset, like right now. He's fine. Like, just because I'm not sleeping there, you know? Like, it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. What did I do? I want to know. You know, it doesn't matter in her eyes how Pete feels. 
she's just telling whatever lies she can to herself just so she can go back over to Natters that much faster. She's telling herself he's fine because if Pete's is fine, that means she can rush back over to Natter. She has to be with Natter. No, I don't think he's selfish and spoiled. I, I don't have anything bad to say about Pete. I'm just telling you my side of like, you know, like, like plain cheeseburgers. I'm like getting blamed for someone else's mental illness. Beauty is annoying. No flow, flow of error with my TV, so I can bring it where I want to. <clears throat> do you get paid for Discord, um, Dark Cater, or like do you guys just shit talk me all day for free? Sounds like a lot of fun. No, I'm just curious. I don't care. I'm just not foodie over there getting bothered by the discord she hates it she hates the fact that people can talk to each other for free and she can't get any money out of it that's what happens when you disrespect your people foodie there are consequences i have to explain everything gail or maybe i just shouldn't but like it's just like i don't i don't know i say bad things i do want to say constantly he's a burden I say constantly every time I constantly. Do you know what that means, Billy Lee? Constantly? Anyone have the definition? Hi, Prissy Hippie. Oh, hi, Laura. Crazy beautiful. You need to stop explaining yourself to a bunch of strangers that pray for your downfall. Live your life and keep private things private. That's it. Oh, my God, crazy beautiful. I know. Fuck. Shame on me for thinking I could share things about my life without getting attacked for everything. You weren't there for him like you are for Matter. Matter, but he, but. He's my, he's my boy. He's who I want to be with right now. She almost said boyfriend. She said boyfriend earlier. She was about to say it and she stopped herself. She stopped herself. Why didn't you say the word foodie? Why'd you stop yourself? Like it's a different. <laughs> you guys don't know the type of relationship we have offline at all. At all. It's a financial relationship. We know that. Too bad you don't. Oh. And that's it's purposely right now. It's purposeful right now. Eden's for key block those who don't enable. My, what's my bad behavior, Eden? That's what I want to know. I want to know what I'm doing. Everything not, wrong. Not staying at home. Changing. Wanting to live my life the way I want to. Violetta Vidoyevsky. Hi, Violetta. Welcome to Green Theaters. Green Cities. Well, yeah, it's a very, very different story. That's all I got to say. Very different story offline. If you can't define a relationship, then you don't have a relationship, Booty. You're using vague terms. It's complicated. It's really complicated. I can't explain it. If you have to explain things that way, you don't really have anything. Prostitute matter. It's not your boyfriend. You're delusional. Yep. You know what you think. So, there's that people always try to protect you. He won't tell you he needs you. If he knows deep down, you would rather be somewhere else. Well, I can't live there 24, I can't be there 24 seven, like I said. Me staying, sleeping a night there, I don't think that would help. Maybe it would, I don't know. You won't know till you find out. But, I don't know. I, I, I mean, all I can do is just, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't feel like I've been a terrible friend. I mean, I yes and no. That's because you live your life through filters where everything looks perfect. You're doing nothing wrong. Everything is fine. By living your life through those filters that you have inside your head and outside your body, everything's great. You can just proceed as normal. There are no responsibilities you've got to tend to. There are no problems. Your health is, doesn't suck. You know, you're so used to looking at yourself through that ridiculous phone filter that you've got this phony picture of yourself. And so that's created that phony picture of your life in your head that you actually believe. Your life is nothing but lies. And you tell yourself so many lies, you actually believe them. That everything's great, everything's fine, nothing's wrong, I'm doing nothing wrong, I'm a good person. Those are all filters that you put inside yourself 
to avoid the real truth that everything around you is falling apart and wrong. Um, Tater, can you explain what to do with you? Well, number one, because look at how our relationship has been. Like our relationship online has been a joke. Like it's been horrible. And every time I've come online so many times and talked so much shit, Aired out all his personal laundry. So, and yours. I think, he, you know, how, like we just broke up like what last week? You never so, to keep coming up. back and be like, oh, we love each other. Blah, blah, blah. So, he's very, he's like BB, he's, he's a private person. So, don't compare Natter and BB. That's like comparing apples and oranges. BB was a good man, Natter isn't. Don't compare those two. <laughs> He kind of just answers with non-answers, I find. And, um, but yeah. Um, let her be. So now I owe him? No. Well. Oops. So there's a difference, Deandra. Thank you. And it online and leave it on the air couple. Well, like I said, what we do offline is very different. You don't do anything offline. That's the problem. You and Natter stream constantly. What do you do offline? Sleep? That's the only time you two aren't live streaming is when you sleep. I didn't even have time to think about my doctor's appointment, really, on this. Ah! I know things are not perfect with Natter and I, and I, but, but I'm just, I'm just, just guys. Oh, B. Oh, shut up. What? Thanks for your money. <gasps> All I have is time. You offered to buy pizza. What? Oh, twist my words again. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I know I'm not likable or whatever, but... Uh... You're not likable at all. What's to like? are always always negative like always like i don't know why you villainize me for blocking people who are just constantly toxic and negative in my chat or you could say well you're toxic and negative well then why are you here why are you here I get rid of you if you're toxic and negative to me, so do the same. Do yourself a favor. Like, really, I don't get it. I'm so over you. Go home with your cat. Like, just because I don't spend as much time with my cat, you're going to claim me to be the worst person in the world? Or because I have feelings for somebody you don't approve of? Or, like, I don't know. It's just weird, really weird. I, I hope people do a study on this weird so odd, like, this online dynamic, I don't know, I'm really not, like, anything you think I am, like, okay, maybe some, yeah, but, you're everything that we think you are, and I'm not saying I'm a saint, I'm not perfect, but neither is anybody, like, that's what I don't get, like, And then, like, to be like, and the reason I made that community post right be like, before going home was because I was getting so much backlash immediately after Pete posted his video. So it's like, so 
saw him explaining, like, yes, I've seen it. Because so many people were reaching out to me. So yes, I've seen it. It wasn't about making it about me. It was about making it about addressing the situation and trying to like put salt on the fire a bit so that people aren't as worried. I actually was thinking of- You were doing damage control. Everybody else making that post to, to stop worrying people. I think I thought I was doing something considerate and people are like attacking me for it. Do you see what I mean? So like I can't do anything right. There's always some kind of hidden shitty motive behind it. Like I'm not that kind of person. And if you think that of me, then I don't want you here. Like plain simple, at least be in VIB. I don't give a fuck what you say about me on Discord. You can go in your little Discord all day, make gifs about me and laugh at my fupa when you got one your fucking damn self. I don't care. That doesn't bug me at all. I'm I'm why you get mad over it. Actually, I'm fine with myself. I'm balding. If I was so embarrassed, I wouldn't be online showing you my ball spot. Not Foodie over there saying she's fine with herself when she insists on using filters every time she goes live. She hates to go out in public. And even when she does go on camera, she's always wearing jackets now and shirts and covering up her chin. But no, she's fine with herself. She's confident. Whatever. It's fucking hair. And it's skin. I don't care about that. But actual things that just like get my nerves every single time, like the negativity, like it's nice to escape from it. Come on here. Put bees around. Be silly. Be silly, but don't be a freaking asshole every time. And be like, you're fucking cats. You're wearing a little sheen. All this and that. Like, get away. Just get away. I hate that. Let's cancel her because she she's responsible for Pete's problems or mental like not doing enough for him. Like I'm responsible for everything. Like uh, it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. I don't know what to say. Now at this moment. So whatever your problem is, just freaking shove it. Because I don't care anymore. I don't care. I care to a certain point, and then it just gets like, okay, you're beating a dead horse, and fucking spit up the gum you've been chewing for 10 years. Just shut up already, you know? I don't, I, that makes me a bitch. Well, sorry. I don't know what to say. Ugh. Just get fed up. Easy. I'm not, I'm not, like I said, I'm not well myself. I'm, I know I'm not doing everything to help my own situation. I have so much I have to do. I'm so overwhelmed with my own life. And What are you overwhelmed by? You have a life of your own making. You do exactly what you want to do. You're not burdened by responsibilities like a job or kids, you know, or a career. All you do is get on YouTube and live stream, and that is just effortless. You don't even do edited videos for people anymore. You've done them in the longest. Your life is completely of your own making. You dictate your schedule and what you do with your day, your week, your month, your year. So what do you mean, foodie? If your life is miserable, it's because you want it to be that way. You choose it to be that way. So don't come at your audience with, you don't understand, my life is so hard. If it's hard, it's because you chose it to be hard, because you make it hard. You're trying to relate to your audience. We can't relate to you. We can't relate. None of us can relate to somebody who makes the kind of money that you do and is that irresponsible with it and lives in a way that you're 37 years old and you act like a 16 year old with no sense. We can't relate. Woe is me and everything. Like I have a lot of my own problems I have to deal with. And I'm not, I'm like barely treading water. I'm barely treading water myself actually um so i mean i don't know what people i just feel like people just expect so much from me and i just i can't deliver what you're what you're expecting oh my god people expect so much from you uh some edited videos and new content and not showing natter on your channel it's just so much from you girl you're soft grow a backbone sorry and i don't know Spend one night at home. Well, it's not about that. Yeah, sure. I could physically spend one night at home. It's just why? 
Like, why? If it's not something I want to do. Like, I'm fucking 37. You know what? When I was a kid, I always said, home. Oh, and what? I'm an adult. And when I would always really like go to bed or November 23rd, you haven't had sex since November 23rd. Number one, why are you so worried about my sex life? Like, number two, what? Number three, I like making lists. Number four, why? Why would I? I don't know. It's such a stupid, like, people make up stupid things. Like, really stupid things. Um, anyway. Ugh. I just don't even know what to say. Grab a headache. I'm just like, oh well, not feeling good. So whenever I pick a pull over, I will and just end the stream right there. And yet she doesn't. This goes on for a while longer. I don't think that, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna, like, I'm not in any mental state to go live with freaking on his channel. I don't think I'm going to do it anymore, actually. We've heard that before. I'm not going to live stream anymore. I don't enjoy it. I'm just not into it anymore. But yet you keep doing it because you're lazy. And what's the alternative, Fruity? You got to do edited videos and you're not going to do that. So your only choice is to live stream. So don't sit there and tell us, oh, I'm not going to live stream anymore. You know what we're going to say? Booty's not going to live stream anymore. Hallelujah. We've been waiting for you to stop the live streaming. We want those edited videos, girl. We're tired of all these live streams. You wore it out. Give us something else. Don't make it seem like live, doing the live streams no more is a threat. It's not a threat. It, you're not threatening us with something. Stop the live streams. Save your channel. We're done with the live streams, girl. We're over it. Everybody's over it. Don't sit there and threaten your audience with no more live streams. We want you to stop the live streams. We're waiting for you to stop. On his channel. I'm like, freaking chilly gypsy or whatever. You're a moron. You're a fucking moron. Like, you super chat $50. You look thirsty and desperate. You, why don't you just join a stupid membership so you can... Uh, Good job, Gypsy. You are still still living rent-free in her head still good job ma'am i don't know it's like really dumb like <laughs> oh anyway I'm, I'm not gonna be nice to these people anymore i can't be nice to these people on his live stream you were never nice to begin with so i'm not gonna be on his live stream anymore good. I'm losing it. you don't need to be on his live stream that's supposed to be his channel Nobody wants to see you there. Nobody likes you being in his live chat because all you do is stick your face in the camera, block and ban people, and basically just become a nuisance. Nobody wants to see you on his live stream. So, again, threatening people with not being on the stream, good. Nobody wants to see you there anyway. You got your own channel. Stay in your own lane. Stop trying to double dip. For attention and money. So, and me not talking about something doesn't mean I'm lying about it. It's not appropriate to bring up shit about like past fights for two doll two ninety nine super chat. Fuck off. You just don't want people bringing up some of the lies you told and then just getting called on the carpet about it. You don't want to get exposed for all the lies you told. I don't even know if Natter knows even half the stuff you've said about him. You've been trying to hide some of that stuff from him, and you hate it when people expose you. You hate it. Sorry. Like, I don't want to talk about it every single time, especially not when we're just having dinner, you know? Like, what happened was traumatic and not like everything about our fights i don't want to talk about like fighting about problems in the relationship everything i'm just i'm dealing with that privately now i should have done that from the beginning i don't really i'm not saying I you know why you did it you know exactly why you did it foodie 
you needed content for your channel. You needed something to talk about. So you brought the drama and you played with people's feelings and you got people concerned. And why did you do that? Because it meant more views, because it meant more memberships, because it meant more super chats. You did all of that for greedy reasons. You chose to bring that stuff to the table. You did it for the dollars, girl. And now that it's on the table, you're angry because it won't get off the table. This is why as a YouTuber, you gotta make better choices for what you introduce to your audience because what you put in front of them, they're not gonna forget. There's some things that's shared, but you know, I can't take anything back. So nope. I'm trying to move on. And in other words, forget all the lies I told you. Forget all the drama I brought to you. Forget all those moments when I got people triggered and concerned. Let's just forget about that. Let's just forget about it. It doesn't exist. It never happened. We're going to move on. We're just going to forget all that stuff because I know I lied. I know I got you concerned. I know I got you triggered. I know I got you all alarmed talking about I need a safe word, paper clips. We're going to forget about that. Let's just move on from here because I don't want all of my lies to come back on me. I want to just forget I said that stuff. I benefited from telling those lies. I benefited financially. But since I benefited and that's over now, let's just go from here. That's basically her mindset. That's why I'm ignoring things. I'm lying about stuff. You are. It's like you either talk about it or you lied about it. That's not how it fucking works. So make me out to be a bad person all you want, but you're not doing it on my fucking channel anymore. Like you're not doing it in, as a VIP anymore. If you're not a beezer, then you can fuck a friggin' Dolma. The most wholesome is white bread. Holy white bread. But, uh, Doesn't even make sense. No, it doesn't. Anyway. If it weren't for that, I haven't even processed like my grandmother's death. Oh, God. I don't really process that. Maybe that's why, like, being around kids after that happened was just so depressing. Oh, God. And I just don't think I, I just couldn't do it. Maybe. Leave your grandmother in Timbit out of your mouth. You didn't care about your grandmother. You don't care about Timbit. The day that Timbit died, what were you doing, foodie? You were rushing back over to Natter. So how much concern did you really have for Pete's then? About as much as you got for him right now. I don't know. And maybe I don't want to go home because I feel guilty. Because, like, I don't know. I feel horrible that I'm not there 24 7 anymore. My life is different in a way it makes me feel shitty. But at the same time, it's sort of feeling like normal to me now, like being here. Like this is. So basically she runs over to Natters to escape from the fact that at the villa, there's all these things she needs to deal with and all these things that she's neglected. By staying over at Natters, she can avoid that other side of her life that she neglected, she didn't take care of. It is suffering because of her. I was watching old vlogs today, and I remember how fucking miserable I was. You're still miserable. What are you talking about? You were you were miserable then. You're miserable now. The only difference between then and now is that now you're more stoned, and you got more drugs to escape how miserable you are. But you're still miserable. Ugh. Everything's just messed up. And I mean, I came on ranting and raving, but I did tell Pete I want to help him. He needs a family doctor. He needs to be on like disability for mental health. Number one, there's no. He needs to. He. he I'm sorry, but that. So I need to help him with that process. I need to help him. 
and I want to help him with things. It's not like I don't, and I don't begrudge it. I don't think he's a burden. Burden is not the right word, okay? Burden is not the right word. Anything right now is a burden. Anything right now is a burden. Anything. Like, everything is just... Anything is a burden except Natter. Natter is not a burden. Although you're buying all of his food, you're paying his rent, uh, you're giving him money to send to his family back in Egypt, you edit his videos, you film his videos. Uh, so he is getting a lot from you, but he's not a burden, but Pete's is. And Pete's and the cats aren't asking nearly as much as Natter. But everything else but Natter is a burden. Make it make sense. It's so hard to deal with, you know? So, Brooke, you need to like get out of here. Block. If Pete kills himself, it's on me. You can kiss my ass. And Twisty Misty, I'm blocking you. Kathy S. Bye. Carol vlogs, you were miserable. It's a different. No, I don't feel miserable. It's just. You do. It's no, I'm not as miserable. You are. Funnily enough. Booty, if you were not miserable, why do you have to stay high all the time? You have to be sedated all the time, either by the green, the white, the alcohol. Everybody that watches your live streams, we've been seeing. You're you're constantly high or drunk or something. You know, if your life was so happy, why would you need to do those things unless you were miserable? Okay, Amber, you can go. Let yourself lose your mind. Can we go through your head through? Block Ashley suffocate. I'm not blocking Ashley. Relationship with friends and like people. Um, I'm not saying I'm always an amazing friend, but I don't think I'm a horrible friend. You are. And I don't think even Pete thinks that. He does. He just won't say it to your face. You're not me. I see you, Hedgehog. Okay, it's late. Where did all the super chats come from? If you sent super chats, where are you? I told you to send to my PayPal, not super chat. <laughs> Look at her. She's actually angry because people are sending super chats and they're not funneling the money to her PayPal. Look at that. Look at the level of ungratefulness on her. Imagine being a YouTuber and getting angry because people send you super chats instead of giving you money through PayPal or Cash App or something. Look at the entitlement on this woman. Un freaking real. You can send me a message there. He doesn't need me financially anymore, Frostitude. He has his own money. Who? He doesn't need me financially. I know you guys think that, that I'm just unlovable. Fact, if she's talking about Natter, that second account, that Natter account, is under her name and her Google AdSense account. Hence why it got monetized so quickly. If she's talking about Pete's, Pete said the other day he still hasn't gotten the code from Google AdSense to activate it. And even if he got the code, anybody who's been on YouTube that has a monetized channel will tell you that even if you get the code, it takes at least two months to get your first paycheck. So what do you mean, Foodie? Pete hasn't even gotten paid yet. 
So what you're saying doesn't apply to either Natter or Pete's. Excuse me. I'm still fucking hot. Hold on. I know Orange Chicken. No, he did. He's like, you guys are YouTubers. You guys are both YouTubers, right? Eh? Saw that I was like, yeah. Um, take him. I said, if you want me to go to the hospital with you, I will. Absolutely not. He does. I want to go to the hospital. He doesn't want to go. And like I said, when I went to the psych ward, I felt worse. So. I don't know. The cops are not who you sent. Like, it's stupid they send cops for a wellness check. Like, what are the cops going to do? Arrest you for trying to kill yourself? Like, that's just, like, that's stupid. That makes people more distressed. What do you want them to send? Paramedics? Uh, a, a medical doctor from the hospital? It's a wellness check. That's the duty of the police officers. They get there, they do a wellness check, and once they get there, if they see that anything is seriously wrong, then they contact other people that can handle it. But there it is. They are there to see what services are needed. Stop complaining, foodie. The way people handle people who are mentally ill is so wrong. It's so wrong. Small town Canadian. I was there, Sandra. Like I said, what do you guys want me to do? You know? Yes, you guys want 24-7. You want me to sleep there and everything. And I don't want to. Like I, I sleep somewhere else now. So are you admitting that you're fully moved in? So that's Foodie's defense. It hurt. She's, you know, several times during this live stream, she's gone to that area. Of, what do you want me to do? Stay there 24 seven. Nobody's asking her to stay there the entire week. All the people are asking her to do is to just spend the night at the villa and talk to Pete and just be there for him. But her defense is, what do you want me to do? Stay there 24 seven. Nobody's asking that extreme foodie, although it would be nice. Nobody expects that out of you. We know that you wouldn't give that anyway. Partly is a reason for more depression, but I can't change it because I'm doing what I want to do right now in my heart. What heart? You have one? Where? So... All I can offer right now is what I'm doing. I mean, I'm there. I'm a phone call. If I, I'm going to go there every day. I don't know what else, you know, like. I hate to interject something morbid into the picture. But if somebody is having very dark thoughts about hurting themselves or worse than hurting themselves, if they're really in a dark place really in a dark place if they get to that point where they it, it's just so dark they can't see the light anymore they're not going to make a phone call they're not going to give anybody a heads up they're just going to do what they do i don't know if she's expecting pete's to do that but and, and i hope that never happens to pete's i hope it never 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 happens but she's just assuming that that he's going to call her if he's in a really dark place, he may not. He may not. Again, I hope nothing bad happens to Pete that way. But she's just assuming that everything is so fine that if it gets to a dark place, he may call her. But people who go to a really dark place, if they do something, they don't let other people know. They just do it. Five hours? What's wrong with five hours? How much time did you guys spend? He doesn't have any other friends, Sabrina, I know. Yeah, he's got no other friends. He doesn't have his cat anymore. He doesn't have his job. He doesn't really have any money. You know, any one of those things by themselves would be something that would be depressing to somebody. And he's got multiple things going on. 
and the fact that you, ma'am, you're the only person he really talked to, and you've been drifting away further and further, more and more. You're barely at the villa, and now you're practically moved in with Natter, and he sees that, and he's probably wondering, what's going to happen to me if she fully moves in? What's going to happen to me? Where am I going to go? I don't have a place to go. I don't have any money to get there. I don't have enough money for uh, for rent, for a security deposit. I got nothing. I got nada. And I'm in a villa with all these different things that have to be repaired. My name is on the lease. And if she moves out, she's leaving me with nothing. And I'll be on the hook for all these repairs. I'm sure these things have gone through his head. And that's what sent him to a dark place. But you don't give a dog on. No. Because you're over there living your life, right? You didn't like Hoganoosh. But I'm not going to let myself lose myself. No way. Already happened. Shannon wasn't a loss. Sorry. She wasn't a real friend. Wow. Wow. So Shannon wasn't a real friend, huh? So you were friends to somebody for 20 years and it, she wasn't a real friend. So why were you friends for 20 years? Why were you friends for 20 years? The only reason why you're calling Shannon a non-friend is because of the fact that, you know, she said what she said about you. She spoke out. You'll probably say the same thing about Pete if he put you on blast. He would go from being your BFF to he's not a friend either. Chantal, you don't know the meaning of the word friendship. You don't know the meaning of the word. To you, friendship is just a word that you use to use other people. But you have no real genuine feeling when it comes to friendship. The people that you call friends, you tend to use and walk all over. So you really have no business speaking on the word friendship. You have no idea of that definition. Boomers being the only friend should make you want to say. Well, sorry, you can keep shaming me, but. So telling you straight facts is shaming you. Fine. I guess we're shaming you. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. Okay. I'm going to go for now. I don't know if I'm going to be back later. If I do, I will be at Natters. I will not be at home. So if that's not something you like, then I'm just warning you. Yeah, and how much you guys want to bet that after this little rage stream of hers, she's going to go to Natters and she's going to blaze out. She's going to be bombed out of her head. She's going to be bombed out of her head. How much y'all want to bet? She's going to be bombed out of her head because she got she got her rage out. And she's going to be in that, I don't want to deal with anybody. I don't want to talk to anybody mode. And she's going to just going to forget about this whole day. She's going to escape into her cloud of smoke. Like she always does. And tomorrow I hope to coffee bees and then go home. Um, Shannon threatened to assault you. Yeah. She's an amazing person. So are you, right? All right, so. Sorry that she said that to you. Does? Yeah, that's all I have to do is like long form and take the time to do it. And yeah, it would be the end for her channel. Cause like, she's really not like, what is she doing? Like, she's just a piece of shit on online. The problem with me, another piece of shit online. The problem with me. <clears throat> Charlie Gold, yeah, they're all freaking stupid. He calls her says the queen of stupid. Fuck face, good. She is a fuck face. That she's friggin' insane. Like, I have, like, photo evidence of being stalked. She, there's video evidence of her going to places I go. And she talks, her whole channel is about me. 
like, who's big mad here? Like, Charlie likes to talk. She's big mad. Yeah, I'm big mad. I don't, I don't fucking talk about you. I don't even think about you. Like, ever. Except for right now. <laughs> like, if he was an FFG last night. Oh, that's nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyways. So, a lawsuit. It's not a lawsuit. I don't have to spend a, I wouldn't have to spend a dime. Charlie's weight loss journey. Yeah, Charlie. Oh, she's. I, I, I want people to fucking accuse me, especially her, garnering sympathy or whatever, getting sympathy from people for my my abuse or whatever you want to say, my sob story. You built a whole channel, have over 100K people exploiting other people's problems, number one. Make- Chantal, you just big mad over there that Charlie Gold has her silver play button. And despite the fact that you've been on YouTube longer and you have your channel, because of all your screw ups and the fact that you keep making people angry and making people leave, you still don't have yours. You're over there buying subscribers because you keep losing people. And so therefore you're never gonna get your silver play button. So don't be hating on Charlie Gold. Don't be hating on her success. Don't be hating on other people. Stay in your own lane and get your act together. Making fun of them, shaming them, and trying to get sympathy for your own stupid fucking weight loss problem that you haven't even weighed yourself in forever. So not you talking about other people's weight and their weight loss at the same time that you hide your own weight loss and you tell lies about how much you weigh. And it's always suspicious because you're over there saying, oh, I weigh 330, I weigh 340, I weigh 350. Yet you will get your butt on the scale with your phone, point the phone down at the scale so we can see the number. No, not you at all. You, you don't do that. Be careful talking about other people's weight, Chantal. Be very, very careful. Shut your freaking damn huge mouth. Deputy B, you're my favorite Egyptian ashtray. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love that picture of Sam. Okay, I gotta go. I'm like on a friggin' tangent here. Everything that's pissing me off is coming out. I'm nice for a while. I'm like, yeah, we know. Breaking the Burger King headquarters to steal the Nashi recipe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we know your cycle, Chantal. You put on a different face in front of Natter. You become a completely different person. You hold everything in until you're away from him, and then the real you comes out. We know. We know. All right, I gotta go. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna see Pete tomorrow. FFG was a weight loss channel too at first. Well, that's what happens when you... Why are you so concerned about the reactors and their channels? Why? Stay in your own lane. Don't worry about what we're doing over here. All we're doing is reacting to the content that you provide for us. We're just giving our commentary. That's it. Stay on your own channel and worry about your own content because your content sucks. You, you drifted into a place where it's getting harder and harder to make you entertaining. And trust me, Chantal, you need us. You need us for promo. You need us talking about you. So throw us a bone and giving us some, some entertaining content once in a while, would you? Hate yourself for how much you weigh. You turn into a fucking bully channel and bully people who are fat because you hate yourself for being fat. You bully people all the time. How many people have you talked about in the time that you've been on YouTube? You bully everybody. You talk. You hate on skinny girls. You hate on pretty girls. You hate on older people. You hate on people from your past. You hate on people from your present. You're a big bully, too, with your little story times. Right? Oh, Passion Tim, I don't like you. Goodbye. Okay, I might go live later. Spaghetti Sammy can eat shit. I hope not. Okay, guys. So, I guess if you want to hate and be be a loser, you can do it.
on Discord. You can go to Kiwi Farms. You can go to Charlie Gold or FFG or wherever you want to go and be a miserable person and obsess about my life. But you can't come here anymore. All right. I'll, call, I'll talk to you guys later. I just, I love the fact that she's just threatening people. Like, just, you, you can't come here anymore. You just can't come here. Like it's some sort of exclusive country club. Oh, you're not allowed in the door. No membership perks for you. What's so great about your channel, Chantal? What's so great about it that people would miss a lot if they didn't come in the door? What would they miss? The reaction channels are so much more entertaining. And, you know, it, it's worth it to go to the reaction channels and see the edited versions of your lives because people at least can laugh at it. There's nothing to laugh at here. So I just, it's laughable. You threatening people with, you can't come here. Well, guess what? If they don't come to your channel, you don't get memberships. You don't get the money for memberships. So blocking people, telling people they can't show up, not really a threat to us, more of a threat to you. Bye guys. So that's it for her uh, rage stream. Uh, I'm sorry if this react video went on extremely long it's twice as long as normal but we haven't seen a live from Chantal like this in quite a while and yes I went off and yes I was mad for good reason just I cannot believe she went live tonight and did this but at the same time I can believe it because you know she's all about the drama and trying to use drama to make money so it doesn't surprise me that way but just you know, you would think she'd be smart enough to just wait a day to go live, but no, not Chantal, not Chantal at all. She's got to go on immediately to get her attention fixed. So that's it for this React video. I'm going to go ahead and post it to my channel. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And you guys have yourself a very pleasant evening. Have a good night now. Bye-bye.